Now, what did I tell you? You see how they mock us. You see how satanic that ceremony was. Warned you. We warned y'all. But none of you would listen. Until now, all of a sudden, oh, it's satanic. It's this and that. Where were y'all 10 years ago? Where were you guys uh, 15 years ago? And now, all of a sudden, we want to act shocked? Enough is enough. This is where Christians should take should take a stand against this evil. This is where Christianity should stand and fight against this evil. Protest, I don't care if you lose whatever. This is your life, your way of life, because the next step is persecution. We've seen it happen for 2,000 years. And don't think it can't happen again. And the people that are calling themselves Christians and are in support of this, there's a special place in hell for you, man. <laughs> there is a special place in hell for you. Uh, after witnessing this, and they had little kids up there too to make it extra obvious that they're the spawn of Satan. To make it extra obvious in case you were retarded enough to think, oh man, these are actually decent people. This is what we are supposed to fight against. You can't call yourself a Christian and not even know what you stand for. You can't call yourself a Christian and be like, oh, well, I guess I was just going to believe whatever the media tells me to believe because that's what they told me to believe. We believe what God tells us to believe. We believe God's word, not man's word, not society's word. Oh, society is forever changing. Societal norms. Yeah, this stuff, this crap right here, this satanic, pedophilic, LGBT nonsense should never be normal. 15 years ago, it was never normal. They have to normalize what isn't normal. They have to attack Christianity because they know it's true. They don't attack any other faith because they know eh, it's whatever. You know, Jews don't believe in the Messiah. The Muslims think the Messiah was uh, was magically swapped by by God. God was some kind of a deceiver or whatever. You know, it, it's so they attack the Messiah. They want to attack Christ because they know Christ is the one true faith. All those that come through me, there is redemption in Christ. And they don't want redemption. They want people to wallow in sin. Okay? That's why they push porn and they push all this nonsense upon us to get hooked on us, to get our young kids hooked into this lifestyle that, that is just absolutely sick and teaches them to hate themselves. Last video. I was telling y'all about this, but hey, you know, are we going to listen? Are we going to rebel? Are we going to continue to fight against this? Are we going to continue the noble fight against this degenerate nonsense to be continued? That's that's what we got to find out. Do we have enough willpower as Christians still, like we did 15 years ago? Uh, we saw it last year. We saw it last year when thousands of people showed up to protest the L.A. Dodgers. And now I see it boiling again. I see boycott the Olympics online. <laughs> so it, it is going to be a battle. And the battle has just begun. The war is never over against Satan. And that's the thing I, uh, I've been thinking about recently. The threat of peace. We thought, oh man, we're not fighting any major wars, you know, we're not doing anything major. Oh yeah, the Soviet Union, our one great enemy, our adversary is defeated. Therefore, peace is, is, is reigning. We don't have to 
to worry about defending Christianity anymore. Yep, the worst enemies are coming from within. The worst enemies have come from within. In the past 20 years, y'all who are new to this, I grew up in the 2000s. The worst enemies come from within. When our pastors were warning us about this, we, hey, we all, some of us listen, some of us listen, some of us didn't. And right now we're seeing the real Christians versus the fake Christians. And, and, and that battle is going to play out. Those who actually care about Jesus and his word are going to oppose any of this sexual garbage being pushed to children. And this is unscripted. I'm, I'm just uh, making this video on the fly because I'm, I'm just absolutely enraged at this. This utter disrespect. And then they want to tell us, oh, don't push your religion on us. Screw you. Oh, don't push your religion on us, blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, they're brainwashing your kids and telling them that, oh, yeah, Tommy, you can totally be a girl. Yeah, yeah, boys and girls are the same, guys. <laughs> yeah, you stupid kid. They want you dependent on the medical system, you idiots. They want you dependent upon the medical system. They want you to forever be uh, seeing GI doctors because you <laughs> you had a well as, as a homo you had another guy's thing up your behind they want you to forever be seeing <laughs> a doctor for hormone replacements um, they want you to forever be on the operating table they want a whole bevy of kids thinking that this is just totally normal guys. If it was normal, they wouldn't have to advertise for it. If it was normal, they wouldn't have to brainwash a generation of kids into accepting it. This is not normal. We are realizing and we are witnessing the results of the infiltration that happened in the 2000s of church leadership. And now we are seeing the complacent sycophants for this cult, this alphabet cult of degenerates. We are seeing all the hard work of these infiltrators come into fruition. They infiltrated the church. They spent the entire uh, 2000s doing that. That's why we had, uh, in 2009, the abominable um, decision. <laughs> not, not an election, but a decision to uh to make gay marriage legal <laughs> oh, lord uh a day that will live in infamy in the united states <sighs> i pray to god for this country and i pray to god for this world because we are spiraling towards hell without god and uh they know it they only attack christians they know what they're doing they know exactly why and if you think this is just oh this is just an innocent no no you moron. You need to stop and wake up. This is a war and we need to get our stuff together. There are billions of us and only a few of them, dude. We should not have any fear when confronting these demonic bastards. Go to war and wake up, Christians. That's all I got to say.